Your core values. This step is absolutely crucial to developing the strength that is going to be needed to create your life's greatest work. And I'm going to say something that might ruffle a few feathers, but it's absolutely fucking true. So if we don't know what we stand for, then ultimately we are a fucking weak version of ourselves. And conversely, when we know what we stand for, it is like pillars of strength that come together to form a strong person that can pave the way forward, a strong version of ourselves. So that's why it's so important to clarify these for you, for us, okay? And the beautiful thing is that these core values are already within you. What comes to mind is Michelangelo, who was sculpting. And with one of his sculptures, he said that he wasn't creating anything new. The sculpture was already inside the rock and he was just chiseling away the rock that wasn't a part of the sculpture. And just like in this analogy, that's how your core values are for you. They're already within you. So it's just a process of finding them clarifying them, and then living by them. And that inner strength becomes an unshakable presence. And we can see that from people in history who have had that. They just knew who they were so rock solid and clear. And they lived that. They practiced that every day. You can see and feel that type of energy. Okay. So let's go through this step so that we can both be on this journey of cultivating that for each of us and living by that and creating that strength that can only be forged through knowing who you are and living by your own code. Next, I'm going to show some examples. So for me, these are core values. And these can evolve too. So, you know, for me, they may evolve. They might be refined. That's okay. So for this step of the journey, it's just about getting something down that connects to you. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be done, okay? And then living by these and making an effort to live by these every day. And guess what? Nobody's perfect. There can be times where you fall. It doesn't mean it's the end of the game. It just means noticing that and be like, okay, that was out of alignment of my core values. Let me remedy that. Let me fix that. Let me solve that. Okay. And let me come back into in balance of who I am and what I stand for. Okay. So core value number one in this example is integrity. Do what you say and say what you do. It's a core value of mine. It's something I strive to live towards, live every day. Honesty. Uh, my mentor, Joseph, says that there's always a kind way to tell the truth. And I really believe that. And I, I would also add there's always a, a strong way to tell the truth. And that's something I live by. Or I, I make an effort to, to live by. And what you can notice with your core values is, you know, Oftentimes they're part of your own journey, you know, so like 10 ones, you know, integrity and honesty for me in the beginning of my journey wasn't, wasn't a focal point. It was just, you know, it was just, it was in the internet marketing industry of like, okay, just make money. And that's the only thing that matters. So as I've gone through my journey of understanding how important that is, that's where it's really connected to me to be something that to make an effort continuously of living up to that. And it's, it really is living up to each of these. Mission. So your life's greatest work is the only work. As you've heard of my story where I was stripped away of everything, that's where I really realized. Okay, it was like if I'm not doing my life's greatest work, nothing else matters. So mission is a focal point of everything that I do. Power. Because you can't help others if you can't help yourself. So that's another very important thing. It's like as I'm building these things, doing my life's greatest work, I need to develop my own power through all the different energies that we've talked about, warrior, mystic, lover, 
uh, playful energy, wild one energy, all of that so that the sovereign power energy can really shine. And it's a lifelong pursuit. It's a lifelong um, journey. But it's to then use that power for good. Impact. Understanding, uh, focusing on making the world a better place because you existed. Okay. And again, this is a journey. And this is also about setting standard for, standards for yourself that aren't easy. Because I don't come to you as a perfect person that is perfect. I come to you as a person that is on the same journey as you are and working on living by this code that I've set for myself every day. And there's definitely times where I fall and having this code, so to speak, core values, helps me quick, more quickly see where I'm out of line as opposed to before where I didn't have it. I might not notice it for a long time or until there's enough feedback where I, where I notice it. So that's why it's setting your core values. I'm not telling you what to set for you. And that's really where the magic is because you get to set the code, you get to set the standard for your life. And then it's a process and a journey of living to that uh, every day. And if you get out of line, course correcting as soon as possible. Historic, pave the way because if not you, then who? Pioneering the way, paving the way, and you know that last part. Because if not you, then who? Because uh, that what comes to mind is two ways of that is because if not you, then somebody else will do it. Why not be you? And another way of interpreting that because if you don't do it, then maybe nobody does. Nobody brings that specific blend of genius to the world. Then the whole entire world misses out on what you could have given what you could have created, what you could have impacted with, okay? Because if not you, then who? So these are an example of my core values. And two things with that. Number one, I know that by sharing my core values with you, it is a, in a sense a vulnerable thing because <laughs> now I got more people to measure me up by that than just myself. And that's, that's the point is to really live these. These aren't, isn't the point to just put them up someday and do it when it's convenient. It's to do these when it's inconvenient. It's to do these when it's boring, when it's a, it's a day by day thing. And it's understanding that we come to this set of standards that we've set for ourselves as an imperfect being, but striving to perfect, striving to hone ourselves, even though we know that you know, being perfect is it's, it's not even a real thing, okay? It's impossible. So um, the other thing I'd say with this is that this is an evolution. So I just want to emphasize that, you know, the things that the core values that you set right now could evolve as you evolve. And that's totally okay. It's totally fine. You know, it's an evolution. Okay. So don't get hung up on this being the perfect thing that is perfect forever. Get it done. And then if it wants to evolve, let it evolve because you'll evolve. Okay. There we go. I'll see you in the next video.